So now that you have your channel set up, you're ready to start uploading uh, videos. And so the way you do that is you simply start by going to youtube.com and make sure you've signed in to your uh, Google or YouTube account. And then from there, you're gonna see this little plus sign with a camera next to it. And when you click on that, this is where you'll go to upload video. And when you choose upload video, it's gonna give you a window that allows you to either drag and drop or simply click to select files. So if I clicked on a video file from my computer and I drag it onto here, it's gonna start the process to upload that video. Now at the bottom, it's gonna tell you how many seconds it has left as it goes through. Now there's multiple steps to this process. It's gonna upload the video, then it's gonna process the video, then it's gonna process the HD version of the video. But while it's doing that, you can continue on and finish setting things up. So the first part here is the ability to give it a title. Um, you want to give it a good title that's descriptive, easy for people to search for, um, and find things that would be applicable to whatever it is your video is about. Um, so if I was going to make a video for teachers on how to use YouTube, this would be uh, where I would put that. And then the description is where you're going to mention what is actually in this video. In this video, you will find blah, 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 blah. And this is where you'll type in that description. Uh, and then down here, if you have unlocked some of the um, intermediate settings for your account, you have the ability to upload your own custom thumbnails. So um, if you want, you can actually create a custom thumbnail image and be able to upload that into here if you want to. Um, I personally like to use a, um, a tool called, um, used to be Adobe Spark, now it's called Adobe Creative Cloud Express um, that has its own templates. They have a YouTube thumbnail um, icon here that I can use to create my own custom uh, YouTube icon and text editors and, and all that jazz as well. So I'll put a link to that down in the description below. Um, now, if this is gonna be part of a playlist, this is where you would go ahead and add that. You can also do that later if you'd like. Um, if this video is set for kids, this is where you can choose whether or not this is a video targeted just for students. If you say yes, you can do that, but that automatically turns off certain settings like the ability to um, add comments, the ability to put it in a playlist, a lot of those things are turned off automatically. Now, there's an option down here at the bottom that says show more. I always like to go in here, scroll down. The most important part that I think is the ability to add tags. And this is where you can simply type in words that would show up or would make your video show up as people are searching. So this is about YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and type YouTube as a tag and then hit return or a comma and it'll add that as a tag. And then I can add as many other buzzwords that are somewhat related to this video uh, as possible. So maybe I'll throw the word Mac in there, the word PC in there, the word teachers in there, the word schools in there, um, anything else I can think of. And I can always go back and add more later. And that way when people are searching, um, if they use any of these words, this video will hopefully show up in their search results. Um, most of these other settings, again, can be set by default in your settings of your channel if you want. I have another video for that that shows how to do that if you want. Um, you can choose to give a date and location. Again, I normally leave those blank. I normally do a standard YouTube license. I allow people to embed my videos into other websites or up to you if you want to allow that or not. I also want this to be published to my subscription feed and notify subscribers, which means if someone subscribes to my channel, they will see, hey, so-and-so posted a new video. Um, here it is. I put this in the education category, but there's a bunch of other ones to choose from. And then finally at the bottom, there's an option for comments and you can choose whether you want this video to have comments or not, or uh, to have them and have them moderated at some point, which means you have to approve them in order for them to show up. Um, and then finally, up to you whether you want students to be able to like or dislike this video and show that to other people. You will always be able to see that as the creator of this video, but if you don't want other people to be able to do that, um, you can choose to turn this off or students can't see that. Um, if you want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now is the ability to add subtitles. Now YouTube will automatically use a closed caption system to add closed captions to your videos automatically. But if you wanted to go in and type in your own subtitles or use a paid service to generate subtitles, that's where you would do that. You can also choose to add an end screen. A lot of times these are done with promotionals. 
um, channels that are used to try to uh, raise money or try to drag hits and try to get as many people to visit as possible. So they might have a thing where you're telling people to like and subscribe and click here and do this and those kinds of things. Um, that's what the cards and end screens are for. Uh, if you also had any copyrighted music in your video, it will do a check in uh, in this next step. So when I go to uh, checks, this will look let you know if there is any copyright um, problems. Now, you can use copyrighted music as long as the company who makes the song and the record label have an agreement with YouTube. Uh, YouTube has agreements with most of them. And so most of the time you can use copyrighted music in your YouTube videos um, but the, they will put ads in the video and the original, um, creator of the music is the one who will get the money from that advertising, but it does let you put those in there, uh, as long as they've reached that agreement. If there were any songs that didn't reach that agreement, this is where it would tell you that. And then finally, when you go to next, this is the very last step. And this is what they call visibility. This is where you're going to choose who can see this video. So I have three options. Public means it's on YouTube for everyone in the world to see, they can search for it, they can find it, they can do whatever. Um, I could choose to do unlisted. Unlisted is also on YouTube. Um, the problem with unlisted is the only people who can see it are people I send that link to. So it's on YouTube, it gives you a link, it has a title and description and everything else, but you have to send that link to the people you want to have access to it. Um, if someone searches for it, they won't find your video. Um, so if I have something that maybe has student names in it or something that has some um, sensitive information that I don't want the world to see, I will publish it unlisted and then simply copy and paste that link and send it just to the people I need to have access. Now, the last option here is one called private. This is for only people that you invite. So a private video means that you have to enter in the email addresses of the people you want to invite to watch this video and only those people logged into that account will be able to um, view that video. So for me, most things I do are either public and unlisted. The majority of my videos are public because I want to go ahead and share it. Nothing sensitive in there. Go ahead and share it with anyone else that can get use out of it. Now you do have the ability to schedule a video to be public. So if you wanted to make it go public at a specific date and time, um, you can do that. You could even set it as an instant premiere, which uh, someone could go in your channel and watch a countdown and when their video is going to go public and things like that. But um, for the most part, that's really all you're going to choose is which of these do you want this to be. And then when you're ready, you're going to go ahead and hit publish. Now, once you hit publish, it's going to give you a link here and says, okay, here's your YouTube video link. And then here's a whole bunch of different ways to share it if you want to. So you've got a whole bunch of different online social media tools that you can choose to share this if you want. And it creates a nice little preview for you if you choose to share it this way. Um, if I hit close, that video is now going to show up in my list of content. Here it is in my list of all of my other videos. And I can go back. It might give me some messages underneath that video that tells me, hey, it's processing or it's still uh, working on the HD version of it or so on. But for right now, uh, once it's finished doing that, those that link will be active. It'll be working. It's live on the Internet for the whole world to see. Uh, until you either change the visibility to make it no longer public, or I can go ahead and delete that video. In this case, I already have this video posted on the internet, so I'm gonna hit the three dots until it's a delete forever. But that's all there is to be able to publish YouTube videos uh, to your own channel.